Hello guys, gals, and monkey gender pals. I'm Kentucky Fried Pepe, and here to be giving some of my thoughts and uh, talking about the information that we have on the recent shooting that took place in Indiana. And about the absolute giga chad who neutralized the shooter within a few minutes at 40 yards away. To start off, I will not be name dropping the absolute piece of human shit that thought that he would be so cool and edgy and whatever the fuck to get some name recognition by killing a bunch of people. I believe that by dropping the name of a lot of these individuals, it only incentivizes more pieces of shit to do this for attention in the future. So throughout this video, uh, I will be referring to the individual who, who carried out this act as Cumstain from now on. At about 4.50 p.m., Cumstain walked into this Indiana mall, which happened to also be a gun-free zone. That is important later. Cumstain walked into this mall with an AR-15 rifle inside his backpack, walked into the bathroom, and proceeded to assemble the rifle. He simply walked out of the bathroom and proceeded to start shooting into the crowds of people who were shopping at the mall. Elijah Dickens happened to be shopping at this mall with his girlfriend, which, although it was a supposed gun-free zone, which, by the way, doesn't mean shit, we'll get into that later, um, was carrying his concealed Glock. Due to the recently passed con constitutional carry bill in Indiana. I also want to add that this event, that this situation, took place only two weeks after the constitutional carry bill passed in Indiana. I hope I'm not butchering this guy's name, I really do, but I'm not fucking good with names or reading comprehension whatsoever. Thanks, public education system. Very cool. I'm just going to call him Elijah. I think that's how you'd pronounce it. I, But I may or may not be getting that wrong. Within the span of two minutes, approximately, that the shooting started, Elijah realized what was going on, withdrew his Glock, and fired 10 rounds at 40 yards away. Eight of those rounds hit Cumstain, dropping him almost immediately. You heard that right. <laughs> I, I'm just going to reiterate this. Uh, a 22-year-old guy with a Glock handgun at 40 yards away did far more at protecting people from a shooter than 200 fully equipped Yavaldi police officers. <laughs> if that doesn't illustrate the point that uh, most police really aren't there to protect or serve, I don't know what does, but again, that's a whole nother tangent to get into for another time. Cumstain supposedly wasn't even able to finish his first magazine within the couple minutes that he began the shooting before he was shot dead by Elijah. Absolutely amazing marksmanship. A moving target from a handgun at 40 yards is... It's, it's not, it ain't something I could have pulled off, that's, that's for sure. Not to... Not to mention the um, obvious very high stress of the situation. Again, amazing. And really highlights um, the e extreme benefits of constitutional carry, besides obviously just being a God-given right that we have that is entitled to us under the Constitution. Sadly, three people were still killed within the duration of about two minutes that the shooting started before it was ended. I can only imagine how many more people would have been killed if um, if our hero here didn't act as quickly and as efficiently as he did. Which gets back to the point about gun-free zones and how kind of retarded they are in general. I never really got the point of a supposed gun-free zone, mainly because people who are going to go in there to kill people or commit crimes are going to do so regardless. It's like, why I so the only thing that gun free zones provide is political um, political brownie points. That's all they do. They don't, they're not practical. They don't stop anyone from bringing guns in there if they want to. They don't stop anyone from committing crimes with guns in there if they want to. But that obviously doesn't change the um, shit factory of the minds on Twitter from uh, giving some very um, undercooked opinions that probably weren't thought out through at all. Also, uh, let's let's look at a picture of the um, 
um, let's just say neutralized target. As you can see here, obviously I'm going to censor the, some of this out. Uh, he was wearing his uh, obedience mask. Now, I don't know if he was wearing it because COVID, even though he's planning on killing a bunch of people, so does it really matter? But I don't know if he was wearing it because of that, or if he was wearing it because he thought it would conceal his identity. But if he's planning on killing a bunch of people in a rampage and then presumably dying in the process, which is what pretty much all mass shooters do, um, why was he wearing it then either? Because obviously your identity doesn't matter at that point if you're planning on carrying out something like this. So, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But uh, let's get back to the uh, Twitter takes on the situation. Uh, now, Twitter leftists, obviously... Um, very upset that the shooter was intervened, as the as many journalists and activists love it when these tragedies take place, because it gives them political brownie points. God, I, I just love journalism. Don't you just love modern journalists? Clearly upset that the situation was uh, put, was uh, shut down prematurely, we have people on Twitter claiming that the young man who neutralized this threat should be arrested and charged, should also be arrested and charged because he committed the horrible crime of carrying a gun to a gun-free zone. Ooh. So scary. Now, these degenerates on Twitter don't seem to get the fact that it actually is not a crime, at least not in Indiana and in most places, to to carry a firearm into a gun-free zone on its own. That's not a crime. Now, if you're asked to leave and because of the firearm and you don't, then that's trespassing and that is a crime. But the gun alone is not the crime. Like if 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 you do it and they don't ask you to leave, you're not you're not committing a crime. It's not illegal. Even if they know this and, and it, people have told them this countless times, they're not gonna stop. They don't care. They never cared about facts. They care about uh, pushing an agenda and wanting to punish someone for stopping a tragedy because it doesn't fit their narrative. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm Kentucky Fried Pepe, signing out.